Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jaylee. This is Jaylee's Corner. This is a whole review. Okay, I do not feel good. I think I'm getting a cold. I had to pull my hair up a ponytail. You know, no lipstick. Look, I look real plain face. So don't judge me, okay? Not to my J-Birds. I mean, to the random folks who watch this. That bitch look basic. I'm basically sick, okay? Leave me be. Anyway, if you have not done so, please come on to subscribe to my channel. And book Girl, I can't sing it. J-Bird, J-Bird, dun, 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 okay? I got to get this out so I can get to the Real Housewives of Atlanta and them that's on right now. Because Atlanta just came on and I'm trying to get this done. But let's do these things, okay? Um, do not forget to like, comment, and share the videos. Do not forget to follow me on social media. You know, my, my social media handles is in the description box as well as on the screen right here. Okay, let's get started. Let's get it. Girl, I can't do it. So, we see a couple of things going on, okay? Let me know, last week, the women had the power to send two of the guys home, and they used that to send home Chica and Terrell. So, this week, of course, the guys had the power to send home two girls or whatever. And I'm like, I knew that was coming. Like, dang, surprise me at the all, okay? At the all. So, um, the men all meet up at the cigar bar. Now, the other men did not know that the women sent home Chica and Terrell. And because they did not know that, they're like, what? What? Because Terry, not Terry, Tommy tells them, yeah, the ladies had the power. They sent home two people who were not ready to love. However, this week is with y'all. Y'all going to meet these ladies and date them and figure out who was not really here and is ready to love, okay? So he said, you know, we're going to have a whole pool party, okay? Going to have a pool party at the little mansion and whatnot, and everybody going to be there. So take that time to get to know the women, you know, see what they're about or whatever, you know, some question about things, and just see who, you know, was really here for the right reasons or whatever. So they have a pool party, okay? Pool party! Pool party, and we see a couple different couples mangling, you know, shangling and jangling. Okay, we see a Shima, Shima and Darren. Okay, they're all hugged up. You know what I'm saying? Land on a little, little, little pool chair together, you know, talking about having kids in the future. Again, they are definitely liking each other. Okay, now we see Nina walk in. Yeah, where Nina at? Can I find Nina? Nina, Nina, where you at, Nina? Okay, we'll use this picture. So, Nina walks in and she see how these two are vibing. And she said, I feel like how am I going to ever get to vibe with Darren if he's always hugged up with Ashima? I mean, next time, get there earlier. Okay, and I feel like Ashima and Darren do talk a lot. They really was, like, real comfortable with each other. Okay, and I'm just saying that's what it is. And, you know, Nina has to deal with that. So, we also see, you know, Aisha and gray-haired Brent. Okay, Aisha is all over gray-haired Brent, letting him know... <clears throat> I got you locked down, okay? I want, I want to put a lock on this now. Okay? I want it all to myself. And he feel like, you know what I'm saying, she landed on real thick, okay? She coming on real strong around here, okay? She tells him also how she feel like she is consistently reaching out to him more than he is reaching out to her. Girl, don't you let that man make you an option. I mean, at this point, they are options. So, you know, I, I reach out to you a little bit more. He like, you think so? Yeah, I, you know, I, I do think that or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I want you locked down with me. Now, he playing cool in the scene. Like, oh, yeah, you know, let me recalibrate. I'm looking like, is she a carburetor? Is she an engine? Is she a transmission? Let you recalibrate, but I digress, okay? He like, but let me recalibrate or whatever. We're going to, you know, see how that is. And we're we going to fix that. Okay? We're going to fix that. But he also says in his confessional, like, I don't like feeling like someone is forcing something. I want it to be, you know what I'm saying? I want her to let it breathe a little bit. Like, you know, I get that you like me and I like you too. Because he said, he, he like, I do like her. He like, but because she coming on so, so, um, so thick, so heavy, okay, so forcibly, uh, I don't know. It, 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 it feels forced. And I get that. It means if you like me and I like you, we don't have to keep talking about you. We're going to be together forever, okay? I want you now. It's like, okay. Okay. Let us let us feel that, okay? Some things I feel like don't need an explanation. Some things, it's a vibe. And in the beginning, you let the vibe form. And then you're like, you know what? You mine. Mine, okay? But, again, she was coming on just, just a little bit. Just a little bit, Sean. A little bit, Sean, or whatever, okay? So, we also see Tommy. Tommy and Mario. 
I got them somewhere. Where is what are these two at? What are these two? I didn't get a good picture of them two together, but it's a picture nonetheless. Okay, so Tandy, <laughs> this is, you know, Tandy and Mario, you know what I'm saying, vibe or whatever. And, you know, they was, because they like each other in general. But they are at the pool or whatnot, and Tandy, I heard all this hair, but Tandy, you know, keeps making sexual references and comments. And he don't really like it, okay? Because at one point, they were talking, to, well, it was, he was he was talking to, to, to Divine a little bit. Tandy was at the pool a little bit, and she kept squirting Mario with the water gun, okay? And then he said, well, someone keeps squirting me, but I don't know why somebody keeps squirting me. Ha, 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 ha. And then Tiny said, well, yeah, I'm a squirter. And, of course, double entendre, okay? So, I, I feel like she knew exactly what she was insinuating, but she still was meaning it in a joking way. However, he didn't like it. His thing was, like, let me kind of pull, let me pull her to the side a little bit and have a conversation, okay? He mentioned to them how, you know, the men talk a lot or whatever. And when you out here, you know what I'm saying, that you just keep talking sexually and saying sexual things or whatever, the men talk about it. And I don't like it. I think his thing is, I like you. And I don't want them talking about you and how you say sexual things, okay? And so she then gets upset because she says she's feel like him saying he's trying to make me tone it down. I think there's a way that you can have a conversation with a man who's telling you you're saying these things in a public setting and it makes me uncomfortable as a man who's courting you because I know how the other men are going to talk about you. But Tanya is so in her head and how she don't want to control her, she not upset with Mario. I feel like this. I'm saying, well, no, because at one point in time, she goes, she says, I'm going to go, well, I'm going to go sit in the corner. Since you don't like what I'm saying, I'm going to go be quiet and sit in the corner. Me, I'm like, girl, you are too old to be acting like this. And now I'm too old. As in, she's old. I mean, you are over 30 years old, man. You need to calm it down, okay? So, in her little corner, whatever, she's sitting in the corner. Honey, we be at, she at, and she's talking to Divine. I say, how you know, people don't, you know, I don't like people don't accept me as I am. I want money to accept me for me, okay? You know, she brings up how she had an ex who was, who was consistently try to shush her or quiet her down or change who she was and did not accept her for who she was. And, excuse me, and um, she's like, I don't like it. So when anybody does that to me, it reminds me of that person and I react. And I get that certain things can make you react. But I feel like Mario did not come off in a way that was like, girl, shut up. Girl, be quiet. He was just like, you know, me and talk. You know what I'm saying? So you say things like that, you know what I'm saying? They say stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying, like, can you just, like, tone down? Like, it was real respectful how he, and he pulled her to the side. He didn't even do it, like, in the whole open. Like, I'm my girl. Because you should. She brings up, you know what I'm saying? Well, no, I think either she, because she walked up and, and divine. You know, they said, you know, Mario, he's, he's a Southern guy. So maybe he just don't like the forwardness of what you said. She then say, well, I know that, but I'm from Detroit. And we say whatever. I'm also from the D. Okay, apps born and raised. I'm saying all up through. And what up though? But we do say different things. But sexually, there are certain things you don't say in open sense. There are things that I say that only the men I've been with know. Okay, there are things that if I'm in a group setting, even if the man I'm with is in that group setting, I'm not gonna say something out loud, to people. I may walk up to him and whisper it in his ear, and then we leave. You know what I'm saying? I may have, you know, text conversation and, and send him a little message or whatever. He looks up, he looks at me, and then we, we leave. But she outright yelled, I'm a squirter. And she knew how she meant it. She knew how it would come off. Even if she meant I have a water gun, I'm squirting you. We... Come on now. And, you know, don't use the excuse, I'm from the... That don't mean nothing. The girls who do that, we call thoughts and hoes. You know how thought or a hoe, are you? But I digress. Again, I just feel like Mario didn't mean it how she's taking it, but I digress, okay? And again, some things that you say, only the man you date and she hear you say it. You should always be a freak in these sheets, not a thought in these streets, okay? Just saying. Anyway, so we see Brent. Brent, you know, gray hair Brent. Gray hair Brent kind of like Alexis. But everyone kind of likes Alexis. And for me, that means these men aren't really here for love. They see her and she's pretty and they want to talk to her. Okay? There's other women there who are nice people. 
But no one's saying, why is everybody after Alexis? I don't get it. She's not even that friendly and outgoing for them. Like, oh my God, she's amazing. She looks like an old-faced young Tony Braxton. It's what it is. I don't know, but I digress. Okay, now, Alexis also says how she, you know, no, because he say he's like Alexis, but also London and Jerome and everybody else like Alexis. Alexis says she does feel comfortable talking with gray hair Brent, okay, because her gray hair Brent have a whole sad conversation. Let's get my tongue. And I feel comfortable with him or whatever. It's, it's a, a nice vibe. But you say that about everybody too. So, girl, who you playing? I feel like Alexis is aware that she has to pick of the litter. So, she don't have to pick just yet. She she knows she ain't going nowhere because too many men like her. But I feel like that's not fair to the other woman because so many men are kind of still kind of dragging after her. And she trying to, trying to she just like, I'm going to pick who I pick. But I digress. Anyway, but I also feel like... <sighs> Just the women who are still left, I'm hoping, shoot y'all shot at some of these dudes and dudes, shoot your shot, like vibe with each other. I'm so tired of the same people liking one person. For the most part, they all like Alexis. Anyway, so we then see Divine in London, okay? You know, she brings up how she notices that London has, where is that? She says that's Divine and that's London. Now, this was the first time I seen London and I understood the attraction the woman had for him. Because I said, oh, he's solid. He's solid. The clothes he had on in episodes one and two did not do the way he's built justice. It made him look homely, in my opinion. I feel like he looked good right here. And the clothes he had on before... I just they didn't fit him right, and so because they didn't fit him right, he didn't look right in my opinion. He looked good when I did it. Okay, <coughs> figure out the stickers. Anyway, but you know, Divine brings up how she noticed how London be having connections with multiple women or whatever, but she wants him to focus on her because that's what she's focusing on. But I also feel like Divine don't kind of put herself out there. Um, I think she's waiting for people to come to her, but I I don't know. It may be just me. So, him and her is in the kitchen having this little one-on-one time or whatever, you know, cooking food or whatnot. And then she's like, you know, so what are you looking for? And he gave his whole little expl explanation or whatever. But you see, you know, I'm looking for someone who's basically equally yoked with me, okay? I want something that's long-term and, 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 and grown and adult or whatever. But I need somebody who's equally yoked with me. I'm like, oh, okay. That's a good response. That's a whole good response, okay? But she's like, well, okay, but are you, you know, I know that you also like an Alexis. You know what I'm saying? So, are you saying this same thing to other women. And he said, well, you know, I, yeah. But I also, you know, there is a connection with Alexis too. And I'm trying to figure it out. And I say, well, I mean, that isn't the wrong thing to say. It's the honest thing to say. But again, do I really want to chase the one girl who everyone else is chasing? Is that what I, do I want to be in competition with the four other guys after her? Or would I see there are quality other women here who I can try to get to know to see if I if, if if they can be the one. I don't, girl. I just don't have time for them all to be chasing about the Alexis. Now, we then see, you know, Bad Hair Reva, okay, and Mario, who we now find out they are both grandparents. Yes, Reva, who had that bad week, who I don't like, and Mario, who I think looks like um, more chestnut. Both are grandparents and they in their 40s. So I thought that's kind of cute. So, them two in the pool, um... Having some little fun or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because him and Tandy kind of beefing right now. And they up in the pool laughing and giggling and hugged up or whatever. Her legs wrapped around him. And she like, ka, 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 ka. So she laughing all loud or whatever. Which brings attention to the fact that they in the pool having a good time or whatever. And he brings up how, like, I do like Tandy. But I do realize I do need to explore other options. Because I can't just focus on one person if I haven't even tried to see what anybody else is about in these streets or whatever. And, you know, Reva admits how, um, no, I think that was really it. Now, she made a little comment saying she could put her whole head in the pool because her weave and she didn't want her lace from the lift up. I said, well, at least she was honest, but I still don't like her weave. But, you know, Tandy notices them in the pool and she's like, all right, man, whatever. So we then see Nina and Darren talking because, you know, Nina and Darren had a bit of a connection a little bit or whatnot. Now, she brings up how, you know what I'm saying, I don't like how, you know what I'm saying, um, you say I'm in your top or whatever 
but we don't spend that much time together, whatever. And you always with your little, with your little girlfriend, with your, with your little girl. He like, what? What you mean? He like, she said, well, when I'm here, you know, you and Ashima always hugged up or whatever. You know, um, y'all even like have like little pet names, like Boo and Bear, whatever for one another. And you know, I'm just like, where I fit in at? You know, he like, look, you know, me and Ashima do have a connection, but she also knows that you know what I'm saying I'm here. She get to know other people too. You know what I'm saying? He like, well, we do have a connection. You know, well, I can be, you know, a bossy person. I can come, like, up between y'all, you know what I'm saying, and then break it up or whatever, and come snatch away, but I won't do that. Well, you need to, if it's a competition. If you sit back and let the other girl have the most time with the dude, he, that's who going to get his time and affection, not you. That's just stupidity to do that, but I digress. You know, he like, well, I can bring Hashima over here because, you know, I feel like it can be just a group conversation, and I, I no, I won't do that. And I also feel like, Darren, that would have been dumb. But I, I also feel like that could have been good if it would have been Ashima's way of saying, well, I know that he's entertaining other people, but that don't affect the fact that I'm also entertaining him. Because I also think, like, I don't think Ashima is really interested in other guys. I think she's interested in Darren. And I think... She gives, she gets the attention as much as she has to. And if he mingles with people, I think she's not concerned. Because, again, if he, if I'm with him for five hours of a pool party, and then for one hour he mingles for, like, 20 minutes to 20 here, 20 here, I don't care. Because I have five hours of his time. He spent the most time with me. He can go ahead and have a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, looky, looky, looky time or whatever. But at the end of the day, he comes back to me. Ashima has kind of made that clear. But I digress or whatever. So... That kind of end with her, like, you know, it's fine. Well, we ain't got to bring her over here, but I just want you to know, you know what I'm saying? I'm focused on you, but you focus on her. I say, well, I think so. Now, we then see Mario talking to Ashima. And Ashima is trying to fix the rift between Mario and Tandy, okay? Letting him know, like, her feelings was hurt. Like, you was trying to, like, control her or shush her or make her be someone she was not whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Tandy, like, she, but he bring up two how. I don't want her putting me in the space of always fussing and arguing. I don't want to be in that kind of negative space because that's how I was in a past relationship. And I don't want that to be anything currently that I'm going through. So I say that's true. Okay, you don't want to get with somebody who's going to make you be fussing and fighting. And he said, but I also don't want to think, feeling like I'm trying to change her when I'm just trying to, you know, mention something that I, that I noticed. So, whatever. So, when Tiny come over, she like, you know, and I feel like Tiny was being extra for camera time. I feel like Tiny was being extra because sometimes she's just extra or whatever. So, you know, he tell her how, you know what I'm saying? Look, I was not trying to control you, um, but I feel like I should be able to mention if I see something that could be an issue, I feel like I should be able to mention that. And in one way or the other, he explains his feelings, she explains hers. Ashima kind of gets up and walks away or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And he asks her, like, was it an issue in your past where someone, like, made you feel like they were trying to control you? She said, well, yeah, it was or whatever. And that's kind of what, that's why she reacted how she did. You know, and she just wants a man in her life who does not mean her any harm. And she cried. And he wiped on her face and wiped on her tears. Like, that can be me. Like, let me do, like, you know what I'm saying? Let me do that. You know what I'm saying? That's me. I, I can do that. If you let me, okay? And then he laughed in her face or whatever, saying, let's just, let's chill. Mm. Let's settle down. That's what he wanted to do. You know, and just like chill out. Like, let's not, we ain't got to go. Because she's like, well, let's go around. Over to the pool. He's like, no, nah, let's just chill here. This is me and you. Okay? Forever. I'm saying. Anyway, so he said that, whatever. It was cool. So, we have that. Now, when, when that's happening, Reed was looking like, I just had my legs wrapped around that man in the pool with him laughing or whatever. And now he all hugged up with some shrimp. Now, tell me who she was. But no, for real. She like, I just think it's crazy how it, it went from that to this. Like, like how did that happen? I'm like, girl, I don't know. But, you know, sometimes you can't have your, you, you can't have your legs wrapped around some man who been hanging out with somebody, somebody else the whole day. Okay, that ain't how it happened. Now, we then see a little bit later on Aisha, okay? Aisha, you are the girl that I never had. Aisha. So, Aisha comes up. Now, we know Aisha's the one who also like gray, like gray hair Brent. Okay, and we're telling him how, you know, it's all about you. It's all about you. Now, she comes up and she sits on Mario's lap. Hey, Mario, what's up? Okay, because me and you could... 
And she's flirting with Mario. You know what I'm saying? Letting him send the same things a little bit to Mario that she had been saying to Gray Hair Brent. And Gray Hair Brent sees it and hears it. He like, that's the same thing she was saying to me. Okay, she's using the same kind of game on me and other people. I say, well, you know, that's how it does. So, you know, I, I guess so. But Mario, like, you know what I'm saying, I ain't got time for this or whatever. I've already been, been in this mess between Tommy and Reva. Like, I don't need to add a third wheel to my already squeaky car. It's my, my, my situation. I guess I can't really entertain her right now. But because gray hair Brent sees it, you know, it's like, okay, everyone sees She's kind of going from person to person. It's like, yeah, what's up? It's me and you. No, just me and you. Ooh, man. All that or whatever. So, you know, she, he don't really entertain her too much. And he kind of, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> pushes her on to, to go her own all the way or whatever. Because he got too much going on or whatever. We then see Jimmy and Kemper. Do I have them too? Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, who was cute, but I also feel like, like his beard needs some moisturizer. That's how I feel. So, Jimmy and Kimber. Okay, now we know Kimber. Like, Jimmy, she's always told us that she's like Jimmy. You know, even though at first she thought Jimmy liked Alexis. So, they in the pool, having a good little time, you know what I'm saying? Relaxing talking or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and he's in her ear, because she's sitting on his lap, so he's like on right ass shoulder in her ear, He like, you know, can we talk about some things, she's like, yeah, we're gonna talk about, so he asked about her ex who was in jail, that she told him about on the last one on one day, you know what I'm saying, he like, you know, like, are y'all still in communication, you know, like, when was the last time you like wrote him, or called him, or whatever, or talked to him, like, or visited him, and, you know, she gets mad, and refuses to answer any other questions, okay? What you mean? No, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. And I was confused. I'm like, what's she getting mad for? Like, it'd be easy. Like, Jay, your friend is in jail? Yeah. We don't let him talk to him. Uh, what's this? It's like it's November. Um, probably wasn't. He called me like in September. But like, we ain't really talk. You know what I'm saying? But, cause, but I'm single. It's different. You know what I'm saying? But I said, like, it ain't like, if he called me, I'll answer. But I'm not writing him. Um, I don't send him any money, but if he has money on his phone thing, he calls my phone, I'll answer. But I, I mean, it ain't nothing, but hey, how, how you doing? What's up? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? But she wouldn't say, like, she wouldn't say, I haven't. We don't talk. Like, she could have at least said, we don't talk. But she instantly got defensive and got mad. And I'm like, I just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? And he like, you know what I'm saying? That means she must be talking to him or whatever. You know, don't get me mad, Jimmy. Like, I want, I want, let me, like, let me see you be mad. Like, let me see the fullness of your anger. And she gets up and gets out the pool or whatever and walks away. Like, uh, I'm done. You dead to me, Jimmy. You was dead to me, Jimmy. You was dead to me. I'm like, what just happened? What I, I was so confused, you know what I'm saying? She, you know, he like, I exposed her, you know what I'm saying? She still with him, whatever. This is my thing. I feel like they were in a little park where nobody knew what he was asking her. He didn't ask her out loud. He, they weren't in a group of people or whatever. She could have easily answered him, and no one would have knew, known what they were talking about. I feel like the answer wasn't going to be as simple. I haven't talked to him. He ain't talked to me. I've cut off all communication, period. I, I feel... That's the reason she reacted that way. Later on, he brought up how he should be able to ask her about her ex. Like, why would I not ask you about your last relationship? I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. I didn't get it either. Now, I also feel like in the pool, he wasn't rude. Like, he, girl, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, she then say he's trying to use something that she told him against her. How? I didn't get it. I was so I'm I felt like she was overreacting because she can honestly say that her and the ex don't have any communication and she didn't want anyone else knowing about that. But she brought up how her ex was in jail. Don't bring up your ex is in jail if you can't honestly say that y'all ain't talking no more. Because again, she got mad for no reason, in my opinion, and now her and Jimmy is beefed out. And you know, he bring up how you know what I'm saying, you gotta sometimes you have to you know, disturb the water to wake the wait, disturb the water hit the fish out something like that. Something he said about you know you have to kind of shake things up to to get to catch a fish or whatever. I don't know. Um, 
Girl, it was it was crazy to me, but I mean it. They like it. I love it. We also see Old Man Carrie. Old Man Carrie says he also likes Alexis. <sighs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I don't think Alexis likes anybody in 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 real life. She probably had feelings for just London. I think anybody else she says she had feelings for, she's just filling them out because she knows they all like her. She don't give me any inkling of, of affection towards anybody. She comes off like a, this is going to sound me, like a dead soul. Like, I don't see any emotion in her. Like, I don't see her, like, really smile genuinely when she's interacting with anybody. I feel like it's always a, oh, he's, oh, he said something nice. Oh, it's a reaction versus an emotion. And it's a difference. You know, someone who I don't like can say something nice. And I'm like, yeah, but that ain't how it is when y'all see me on here and I'm getting a text from somebody and I'm smiling. Okay, it's it's a it's a it's an emotion versus a reaction. And so something about her, I don't think she like Carrie. I don't. Um, I also don't think that you know old man Carrie is going to be in a relationship with anybody on the show. I think he will be in the in the eventually. I think he will. I think the top three is gonna be Divine. Alexis and like Ashima with no nope nope it's gonna be Divine Tandy and Ashima with London Mario and maybe Darren unless Kimber and Jim uh and Jimmy work it out. If Kimber and Jimmy work it out, then they will replace Darren and Ashima. It's my, it's, those are my guesses of who will make it. I, I, Brent, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Because even though Brent, like, I don't think Alexis is going to make it. I think Alexis may partner with Brent just to stay on the show. And if they do that to stay on the show, they may replace Mario and Tandy. Because the top three, I don't know. But those like my top people, I think. I don't know. I'm going to throw this around. So, when Carrie and Kimber talking or whatever, um, I don't know why. Jimmy asked her, like, can we, can we talk real quick? He came overnight. Like, can we talk real quick? No. He like, really? She's like, no, okay. Because you know, he's like, you know what? I did. I, they Look, they're going back and forth, whatever. I felt like he could have toned down. I don't think at all he was as bad as she I don't think he was that bad at all. But I do feel like you and her arguing was stupid. You asked her, could y'all talk? She said, no, you know it's something in the water. You know something in the water ain't clean. Let it go for today. Okay? But going back for her, like, well, I'm a G. You know what I'm saying? I, you ain't no G. You not no G. No, not to, no, you not. You know what I'm saying? Because once, once you cross me, you done. I'm like, y'all both don't touch me. I'm like, y'all both need to shut up. So Jimmy leaves and he needs to pray because it's team too much. I, I guess so. I don't care. Now all the guys meet up at the cigar bar to say who they like and don't like. You know what I'm saying? You know, Jimmy brings up how he and Cameron got into the bar ex. And Tommy made a good point. He said, do you think it was a good idea to bring that up at that setting? He says, nah, think about it. I don't. I don't think it was an issue. Because he didn't ask her in front of people. But I digress. You know, Brent brings up how Aisha was acting like, you know what I'm saying, he don't show her attention. And how, excuse me, he just thinks she puts on too thick. You know, Mario brings up how it seems like Aisha being everybody's face, trying to pick whoever, you know, like her or whatever. Now, Mario also brings up how he's not feeling Nina. Because of the blow up with Tandy. I'm like, Mario, shut up. That was two episodes ago. You should have brought that up a long time ago. Um, then like, well, she don't add that around me. <laughs> that check around me, like, was it that bad? It was. It, re it really was bad. I don't think Nina should be on the show. I think Nina still needs some time to figure out what she really wants in life. So I do think she should go home, but not because of the fight with Tandy. This based on she not ready. She not ready. Okay. Now, Carrie brings up how he and Alexis is vibing. You know what I'm saying? And how they talk often now since they were talking at the party. Carrie, I think you lying. But I digress. You know, London brings up how I also have a great connection with Divine. But I also like Alexis. Alexis, I don't know. But everyone likes Alexis. Okay. Um, Jimmy says how he kind of don't have any connection with Divine. Um, how, they, how they never vibed or whatever. And, you know, they're like, yeah, but did you ever 
try to talk to her. He said, well, no. You know, he like, well, you know, you need to figure out who you like. You can't really base it on you like who like you. You know, because to say that she don't like Divine because she hasn't tried to talk to you is stupid. And, and it really is. But I digress. So, you know, they like, well, now we have to figure out which two ladies are going to leave. Well, no. They put three ladies in the, in, the, in the bottom three to say who may go home. So, we then see London meets with Aisha. Mario meets with Divine. And Nina meets with Carrie. I say, oh, so with Aisha in London, you know what I'm saying? He tells her how the guys feel like she's too aggressive, okay? And where's Aisha? Here we go. You know, they feel like you're too aggressive, okay? You real aggressive or whatever, and they all know. Uh-uh, let's say who it is, okay? We know what it is. It is um Brent, okay? It is gray hair Brent. <laughs> and I think at this point, she feels like, oh, Brent says something, so I can say it's him. We cannot act like it's a big deal. So, he like, you know, yeah, but we all sit down and we decided that you are not ready to love. Now, this is the scene of them telling her that, and she did not have her glasses on. But when he said it, he, he, she put her glasses back on. All right. All right. You know what I'm saying? And then, as he like, you know, I want to wish you the best. I, I don't need, you know, you ain't got to say nothing or whatever. I'm saying, I don't need no pep talk. I'm good. And she leaves. Yes, she do. She do need pep talk. She, some about her is, you know, I'm going to, she... No, women are allowed to go after what they want. We are. We complete. We we really, 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 really are. But I do kind of get how they were saying how she was just extra with it, and she wasn't vibing right. In my opinion, but I don't know. Uh, but again, so she so she was the first one eliminated. Now we then see Divine. Now Divine, you know, who's meeting with um. Mario, when he sat down, she <laughs> instantly see him saying, I feel like this journey isn't for me. Okay, I feel like him saying the, the person I'm ready to love isn't ready to love me. I feel like Divine knew this was we sending you home, me, and, and before you can send me home, I'll say that I don't want to be here. So it's not like y'all sent me home. That's what the girl, that's what Divine was doing. Okay, but Mario, like, what, what do you mean? I like London, but London likes um, Alexis or whatever. And, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to be here um, because, you know, when everyone is making connections with everyone else or whatever. Um, but, Mark, like, that's a part of the journey. Like, everyone has to talk to everyone to, to see who they, who they mess with. That's a part. It's hard for everyone. So, you know, it's not just you. You know what I'm saying? Well, there's a lid for every pot, so I guess I'll stay here until my time was, you know, done. I felt like she felt like, because Mario was not letting her go, that he, she then realized, oh, I'm not going home. I'm just here because I'm here, but I'm not a person actually going home. Once she realized that he was convincing her to stay, she then said, oh, and there's a pot every lid, and I guess I'll stay here until my, this time, that's my time to go. She ain't slick. She thought she was going home. And that's why she said the person who I like don't like me. So I think I should not be. She tried it, but you know it was it was what it was. Um. So again, divine is not going home. So we know what that means it means the who is it? Nina. Okay, Nina was meeting with um. You no know, old man Carrie. You know he like have you made any connections with anybody besides Darren? She's like, well, no, because that's why I connect with or whatever. And I feel like because everybody else is booed up, you know what I'm saying I just I'm kind of screwed. But that's who I like. And then, you know, he then said, well, yeah, because we all feel like you're not ready to love. And then she goes home. I feel like from the beginning, she wasn't ready. Because, again, she was also, I'm going to like who like me, but I also don't want to approach anybody who isn't approaching me, even if I think they like me. She was really staying off it. So I think, you know what I'm saying, she should go home. And she's going home or whatever. And then, you know, but she left on a great note. Like, she, I feel like, Aisha had an attitude, and then she said, oh, you know, it's great or whatever. I'm saying, um, she, she, said, she said, I'm not for everyone, but that's okay, because the person who's for me is still out there. So, again, she left on a positive note. And that was all episode, y'all. So, let me know how y'all thought about it, um, and I will talk to y'all next week. Peace.